All right. This is Jeff with the Jeff Talks podcast and a special Learning to Rise Academy little breath tip. I wanted to share with you guys something that I've I've stumbled upon um, throughout my just intentional breathing uh, lifestyle that I'm trying to live right now. So I stumbled upon it from Patrick McCown. Um, I'm pretty sure that this has been done before, um, but this is all really now just a matter of remembering things that have been done for thousands and thousands of years by the yogis and, you know, like monks and really, really cool, interesting stuff. So I wanted to share with you guys a really, really simple and easy little technique that you can do to clear your sinuses. If you have a stuffy nose, I think this is actually perfect for for COVID and everything going on and just with just everyone really trying to be much more mindful about their health. So without further ado, we will get right into it. It is basically you are going to exhale we're only going to be breathing through our nose. So your inhale through your nose, your exhale through your nose. If you'd like to dive a little bit deeper, Patrick McCown has a lot more like, he goes into the science about it, but also if you would like another um, really, really powerful technique, I have a free link in the description that you sign up for and it's 100% free and it's another really really cool it actually breathing technique and it activates the dmt so i love using that when it's like i'm like in this fight or flight mode like emergency like stress ball of fire is going on so it's an incredible tool for that but in the meantime let's do this so we're only going to be breathing through our nose we are actually going to exhale and then like we're not really exhaling all the air out but we're really just exhaling to the point to where to where we feel comfortable like a normal regular exhale then we are going to pinch our nose on the exhale we're going to pinch it and I don't really like to pinch up by the base because, you know, by the uh, the bone, like cartilage, I like pinching right below, like right on the nose holes. So, boom, right there. And you'll tell me my voice changes, and it sounds pretty, pretty silly. <laughs> so, you want to hold it while you're holding your breath on that exhale. And a good goal uh, to shoot for is around 20 seconds. So 20 seconds, I think Patrick McCown says that it's like average, um, and that's a pretty good goal that if you're not getting up to that, it's a good goal to shoot for. Professional athletes, Navy SEALs, um, really, really high like uh, interval training people, CrossFit training people, they should be shooting for around 40 seconds. So. I've been able to get to 40 seconds, but it's been after a couple rounds. Usually the first first round is around 20 to 30 seconds. So we're gonna hold our nose on the exhale and we're gonna time it. However long you get, cool. You want to inhale when you feel like, like a, not like a spasm, but like a little slight impulse in your gut in your throat or in your chest and basically it's a slight like like knocking on the door and your body's like hey hey I need to breathe so you want to really lean into this experience and the more you do it the more you'll be able to uh, push yourself if you'd like but in the beginning definitely take it easy slow and steady so you're gonna hold for as long as you can time it 
I'm not going to time this one with you guys just because I have my phone that I'm using this to record on. But anyways, um, you're going to hold. So you get to 20 seconds. You're going to breathe in through your nose, not your mouth. And that was a kind of difficult thing for me to start in the beginning as well, because impulsively, like, oh my gosh, I need to breathe. I want to take a big, I want to take a big breath of air, right? So really be mindful, excuse me, that you're going to want to breathe in through your nose. And again, Patrick McCown goes into the science that has to do with really the benefits to breathing in through your nose. And since this is like we're um, decongesting the nose, you really, really want to almost like force, like force it in. And then we'll take a couple calming, relaxing breaths again through the nose. And you want to get back to where you're just breathing normally, calmly and smoothly in through your nose. And then you do it again. You can do one round up to five rounds. Basically, you can do it as much as you want until you don't feel decongested anymore. So I'm just going to go for it. If you'd like to follow along, by all means, let's do this together. Um, if you'd like to, yeah, whatever. We're just going to go for it. So all through your nose. I'm going to try to keep my talking to the minimum because um, just it's really hard to talk and to do the exercise but really just try to follow along and, and watch as I'm going through it. A couple calming breaths. One more calming breath. Hold on the exhale. Calming breaths. So that round, I counted in my head, it seemed to be about 20 seconds. So that's a good baseline for me to kind of understand how efficient my body is at using the oxygen in its body, in my body, and how high my carbon monoxide uh, tolerance is. I think Laird Hamilton, who's a very, very famous big wave surfer, the guy can hold his breath for a very long time. His carbon monoxide tolerance, he can actually, this is from Patrick McCown, right? He can actually get his like oxygen levels. So his CO2 tolerance is crazy. He can get them down to like 50%. That's insane. So like, again, this is somebody that has been training like this his entire life. He's a big wave surfer. He has to hold his breath underwater for, you know, five minutes, probably more. But that just goes to show you that the more you practice this, the more efficient your body will be uh, in the oxygen that it uses. Perfect example of this is a Hummer, a, a Hummer car, truck, as opposed to like a Prius. I want my body to be like a Prius and be able to use less and get more instead of use more to get more. Does that make sense? So. I think that's basically it. I want to keep it super simple. Keep watching this video back again. Again, check out the description that I'll put below if you want to dive deeper. I love you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And this is Learning to Rise Academy. Your host, Jeff. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.